All right, guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Fallout 3. We are, uh, we're going to be fighting some people. Ooh, look at that. So those are coming from somewhere. All right. He's firing at something. Are you gonna are you gonna start moving? Hey, come on. We're supposed to be following you, big boy. Liberty Prime, there we go. <laughs> America will never fall to communist invasion. Who are they firing at? Oh, the guy's up there. Is a preferable alternative to communism. Oh my goodness, they are just bombarding the area with uh, bombs. Alright, uh, grab that, grab that. That's good for now. Probability of mission hindrance. Zero percent. I'm gonna just let him kinda do his thing. Oh, I'm very glad. Oh, well. Man, Paladin Vargas literally just took a a missile to the face, essentially. All right, we're having a little bit of um, radiation, but that's fine. All right, let's grab the plasma mine, the rat away, the plasma rifle. Okay, I might have to do intermittent saves. Yeah, because the game's already freezing. I tried doing this before and the game froze as I was going through it. Like I got to the end of the bridge and then we went like down an alleyway and uh, the game froze. All right, I'm going to I'm going to save here. So that if we do have to reload, we can reload from here. Hopefully. And hopefully it doesn't get stuck at 99%. Alright, there we go. Alright, that's fine. All right, can I repair my plasma rifles? All right, we'll drop that one. Oh, there is a guy here, okay. Oof. Gotta be worried about the uh, missiles just landing on us. Oh, 
Whoa. Oh! Why'd that hit us? Ow. Irradiated Metro is new. Okay. Ow. Yes. Kill him. Thank you. All right, grab the Rad X. Heavy incinerator. Ooh, noodles. I will take the uh, the new metro location found, and we're gonna we're, I'm gonna save it again. Um, just so you know, because now we've made it deeper, and I don't want it to freeze. Okay. Ooh, free stim pack. That's nice. Nice. All right, good. Come on. Is he dead? I think he's dead. Don't fire that into there. Where'd the big robot go? Oh, wow. He's way up there. He's been just decimating things. <laughs> All right, uh, plasma mine that sugar bombs. Plasma mine stim pack. I mean, he is, he's just devastating the uh, the enemies, which is great. Oh, nice. Oh, well, we got through, at least. Yep, thank you. Project Impurity. Infect the Project Fury water supply or not. I'm not going to. I'm going to be good. All right. Into the gift shop we go. We're doing the good quest with good karma. And we're going to do the good deed of not injecting the water supply. This is what, like our third time back here? Oh my god, hi! You know what? First off, let's eat some noodles. Uh, eat some steaks. 
Have some blood packs. And a little bit of purified water. Plasma grenade. Here, take that. Uh, do I need the heavy incinerator? Well, it's broken, so... Probably not. Pulse grenade is not going to do anything. Nice. Take this. And this. Nice. That goes to the basement. No response from the intercom. Oh, hot plate and a bone saw. All right, so there's the sewer. Double checking. Double checking. You know, Fox, you're so smart. <laughs> Fox is like the smartest person among us. Or the wisest, I should say. You again. Hi, Colonel Autumn. I can't say I'm surprised. You and your ilk seem hell bent on destroying everything our government has worked to achieve. There's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. Let's end this. I beg to differ. The Enclave is at the height of its power. Once this facility is operational, the masses will flock to the Enclave for fresh water, protection, and a plan for the future. The American people are worth fighting for. The future must be secured. I won't let you stand in the way of that. And what would you have me do? Let you have everything I've worked to build? Let you destroy it all? And you? You would just let me leave? How can I be sure you won't just shoot me once I turn my back on you? I suppose it doesn't matter much now. Very well. I shall leave you to your fate. Hey, that's cool. Sweet. Yeah, that's right. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that you just let him walk away. It's amazing the world hasn't beaten that out of you. That's because I'm a just good person. Come back to bite you. Now let's get this place locked down. Hello. 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 Is anyone there? Doctor Lee? Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. Please, We're both here. What's answer. going on? I've been monitoring the equipment remotely, and we have a serious problem. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotage. There's pressure building up in the holding tanks. It needs to be released now, or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now! If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. We can deal with it. Well, so much for celebrating. One of us is going to have to go in there and turn the damn thing on. And whoever does it isn't coming back out. Not exactly how I imagined going out, you know? So, what should we do? Draw straws? If that's how you want to do this, fine. But be quick about it. What? Mm. This is a dire predicament. What shall we do? Ah, of course. Uh, my immunity to radiation makes me a far better candidate for surviving in there. I would say that your destiny lies within that chamber, but you have 
already altered mine. The least I can do is return the favor. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Cycle the airlock. I'm assuming that's that. I just hope he doesn't die. Please don't die. Uh-oh. That's, that's not a two. Fox. Oh. Come on. Get out of there, Fox. Don't tell me Fox is going to die. Did I, did I just kill Fox? And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place. But the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child. Selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. It was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example. No! Instead, allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. Does that, does that mean Fox died? So I don't have a dog. The story of the lone wanderer who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes. I, I really hope that doesn't mean I killed Fox. I mean, it did call him a hero. I, I'm assuming that's a good ending. So I'm guessing, like, based on what you do, like, take it back? I'm going to have to look at what that trophy means. I don't, I don't know what that trophy is. Modified FEV virus removed. What happened? Where am I? Fox! 
quickly. Everything's fine. You're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Whoa. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. All right. Um... She's right here. Unresponsive, but stable. To see that you've recovered gives me hope. Okay, what else can you tell me about the fight? As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the Purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So, we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Please be... Fox! I had hoped you'd return. What now? I'm so glad Fox is alive. Okay, Lionel's is unconscious. I need a science skill of 100 to do that. Did you need something? I saw bones. Saw bones has damaged you.
Command accepted. Beginning level two systems diagnostic. Please stand by. <laughs> Elevator music. <laughs> Medical procedures initiated. Administering treatment. Please stand still. Did that work? Medical procedure complete. Further instructions. Acknowledged. Hitting the rack. All right. Well, that worked. Oh, there's a storage thing all right well okay so we, we i guess beat the story although uh that still had a quest so speak to scribe rothschild i guess let's uh head there uh i want to keep him safe like it's more important that you're safe rather than helping me. So I need to go to B ring to speak to Rothschild. So here's my thinking. Like, that definitely seemed like a ending sort of movie scene thing. Um... Okay, here we go. Um, and so, like, we'll do whatever this quest is. And then, I think for, um, for a couple of videos, we'll do a little bit of, like, exploration. Where, um... Like, we will... One of the locations I want to explore is, like, the Bethesda Ruins. Um, just because it has a nice, you know... An interesting concept. And I think, you know, there could be something interesting there to explore. Um, there's the vault up near the Deathclaw area. Um, that we have not explored yet. And I would like to explore that. Where are you? There's a stupid guy. You. Hey. I'm talking to you. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves. Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? Yeah, so we have not been to 92. We've been to 108. We started in 101, 106, and 87. The last few weeks, and what's going on now? As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat of the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other enclave locations throughout the wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. 
Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? If there's anything else, I'll alert you. Uh, meet at Rockland Car Center. Could I? Wait. Oh, Peabody or Bowditch. Okay. Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. All right. Don't. So, uh, looks like we have four different locations to go to uh, here, at least listed. Uh, that's not where I want to go. I do at one point want to... Um, Oh, Aqua Pura crate was empty. Um, I do want to drop some stuff off at home because we are carrying quite a bit around. Um, so we're gonna like follow this quest and see what like this quest leads to. Um, I need world map, please. Okay, so our first area is going to be all the way over at the Rockland Car Tunnel. So, like, there was Vault 87. Vault 106 was here. And so, like, something like the Jalberts or the Fort Bannister was, like, highlighted as something. Um, at least on that map. Um... But yeah, we're going to, like, I might go explore those four locations that were listed on the map uh, within the Citadel there. Because I'm guessing we're going to have to do those four locations to, like, complete the quest. That's my guess. Um, but it seems like we are at kind of the end of the main story. And now it's kind of either, like, post-story or just like a free for all for whatever I feel like doing um in which I'm not I'm not going to be somebody to explore every single thing in a game like this because there's just so much and that would just cause it to go on forever and that's not what I'm trying to do here um So we'll like continue this and then we're going to explore a couple of other locations. Um, my whiskey bottles. So like I mentioned Bethesda ruins. Uh, I would like to explore that because it's got a unique name. Uh, Agus's house could be interesting. Um, there was, there's an oasis, which I'd like to see uh, vault 92 in the death claw region. Uh, there's a radio tower and stuff. Deathclaw Sanctuary. It's kind of interesting. Abandoned car fort. What did that say? Roosevelt? Roosevelt Academy. Ooh. Vault 80. I could have swore I was already in Vault 87, though. But I guess it hasn't fully discovered me on it. We'll be able to fast travel there, discover that, and then go there. That's actually not bad. Or fast travel here, discover those two, and then go down there. So that actually wouldn't be the worst. Um, it's good to see you alive. Are you the you're the miscellaneous one? Okay. Cherry bomb, death claw hand, pre war money, and rad scorpion stuff.
All right. That's our energy weapon bobblehead, which is nice. You and you. Um, we can drop off quite a few weapons now, which would actually be good. All right. Uh, drop off, you know what, the uh, Chinese assault rifle and the assault rifle. Uh, the Gatling laser, the heavy incinerator. Uh, the laser rifle, the laser pistol. So let's see here. Plasma rifle, 38. Tri-beam goes harder. So plasma pistol, plasma rifle. Let's grab the ripper, because I should be able to repair the one that's currently in my pocket. Uh, we can get rid of the super sledge. Maybe the shock baton as well. 10 millimeter. Do I have another sh combat shotgun? No. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right. Ripper for 26 actually is not bad. The apparel is good. We have a lot of a lot of healing items which isn't a bad thing. All right. Uh heal yourself, remove all rads, restore damage limbs. Okay, ooh, we could take some adapted biogel, which actually wouldn't be the worst. Put the stealth boys, the sugar bombs, the vodka, and the wine away. We'll put uh, ten of these back. Sure, we'll take those, we'll take those, we'll take those. Uh, squirrel stew, squirrel stick, not the stealth boys. Sure, we'll take the sugar bomb and the rad roach meats. Alright, so, I guess to continue the quest, we will fast travel... Yeah, because we can do Power Station, the Dunwich Building, and then the car. And I think that would be good. Evergreen Mills. Where was Tenpenny Tower again? Was that down here? That was there. Warrington Train Yard. So, like, we discovered a lot of that, which is nice. Fort Bannister could be interesting. But let's just fast travel here. Intelligence is science, repairs, and medicine. I might go, like, if, when I eventually do New Vegas, I might go, like, max intelligence. So that our, uh, so that we get, like, as many skill points as we can. Um, and, like, clearly that maxes out, like, our healing and our, uh, you know, our computer hacking and whatnot. So I think that would be a pretty good idea. But I mean this this like evenness that we've been doing hasn't been horrible, so I already empty. Okay, so I want to go let's just go this way real quick and get to the uh power station. Alright, should be a relatively easy location to get to. Nothing. Alright, there we go. Power station. Oh, but it's got a building. Power substation. 
All right, anything I need to turn on here? No. I mean, usually this is just, what, one room? So... Well, that's uh, not disturbing at all. Well, this substation is definitely not going to be working. Hammer. Uh, leaf blower. Oh, a couple of stim packs. Leather belt. What is that? Psycho. Mentaz. Medics X. Medic X. Sugar bombs. Dean's electronics. Oh, well, we got a mini nuke. I'm going to take that motorcycle handbrake. It only weighs one pound. Well, I mean... Hey, we got a uh, we got a book to increase the skill point. So I'll take that. Alright, repair has, an incre has been increased by one. I mean, my agility being down to four isn't bad. Um... Because I put that to, um, because we're wearing the armor, so. Like, yeah, we're taking a little bit of negative to our sneak and our small guns, but I mean, our, like, look at our other stats here. Like, they're not horrible. I like it. Last best hope of humanity. I do like that. All right, so when we come back, we are going to... Go to the Dunwich building and then the Rockland car tunnel. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and I'll see you then.